Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to read your bank reconciliation report. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and uh, this seems to cause some confusion for people. So I wanted to uh, walk through this and show you how to do this. Okay, so when you reconcile your bank statement in QuickBooks, uh, that you get a report and you can print or view a um, summary report or a detail report. Okay. And so people, a lot of times will say, well, Hey, my bank statement balance doesn't match my QuickBooks balance or what it says on my reconciliation report doesn't match. So I want to just show you how to read that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, if we go to the reports drop down menu, okay. And if we go to banking, and you're gonna see there's a previous reconciliation option, all right? So if you click on that, and you're gonna see here, and something kind of neat that if you didn't know this existed, I'll, I'll tell you about this in a second here, but you're gonna choose your, your checking account, um, you're gonna choose the summary detail or both. In this case, I wanna look at both or detail. And then we're gonna choose the last statement date in this sample file. Okay, so this option right here, uh, it defaults to transactions cleared at the time of reconciliation. Okay, so this is basically the reconciliation as of the date that you did it. Okay, now this down here, if you say transactions cleared plus any changes made to those transactions. Okay, so if you had to go in and for some reason change a transaction or, or maybe uh, your beginning balance isn't matching or something else that is causing um, an error in your bank reconciliation, you can choose this transactions cleared plus any changes and then compare that to the original one and see where those changes were. Okay, so this can be very helpful. So in this case, we're just gonna use this transactions cleared at the time of reconciliation and hit display. All right, so let me zoom out just a little bit. All right, so this is a lot of numbers and it looks kind of confusing. So let me just explain this, okay? So um, if you just start here, beginning balance, okay? So this was the beginning balance at uh, 11 one for this checking account. These are the cleared transactions. So the checks and payments, these are what cleared the bank. And deposits, okay, 41.35. So the cleared balance is 71,426.52, okay? So this cleared balance is what should match your bank statement, all right? And then if you go below this, you've got uncleared transactions. Let me get rid of that there. You've got checks and payments. So these are checks and payments, you know, so bill payments that have, these things have been paid, but they haven't cleared the bank yet. And there's no uncleared deposits, okay? So you see here, it starts with 71,426.52. It subtracts all the uncleared checks and comes to a register balance of at 11.30.2023 of 55.641, okay? So your bank statement balance is gonna show 71,426. Your register balance is gonna show 55.641, okay? So what do I mean by register balance? Let me show you what I mean by that, okay? two ways. If we go to the check register and I look as of 1130, 2023, 55641.39. Okay. So this is the register, the, the register balance, 55641. Okay. Uh, a lot of people where they get tripped up is they say, I look at my balance sheet and it doesn't match the bank statement. Okay. And it's not necessarily going to. So if I pull up a balance sheet here, and I put the date 11.30, we got 55.641.39, all right? So let me go back to reconciliation detail, 55.641, okay? So it's not gonna match the bank statement balance, and the reason is because you've got these uncleared checks and potentially uncleared deposits, not in this example, but you could have those as well. Okay, so all these checks haven't cleared, so the balance is 55.641. All right, so that's uh, how you get to that balance there. Now, let me go back over here, reconciliation detail. It also lists out the new transactions, okay? You don't have to be as concerned about this, but these are new transactions that have occurred uh, since the end of that uh, statement, November 30th, 
All right, so you've got checks and payments, 77,000 deposits and credit, 68,000. Okay, so ending balance is really, as of the date today that I'm running this, uh, the ending balance is 46,969, all right? All right, so hopefully this clears this up a little bit so that you understand a little more fully how to read these reconciliation detail reports and understand that this cleared balance is really just your ending uh, bank statement balance and this is register balance is what's after all the uncleared transactions, what's gonna show up in your check register. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to post them below. Also join me over at the QuickBooks University where uh, you know members, uh, membership means you purchase the QuickBooks tutorials, the training tutorials. Those are going to teach you pretty much everything you need to know about QuickBooks desktop. We also have QuickBooks online, uh, but also as a member, I answer your personal questions. All right, head over there, qbuniversity.org. I look forward to seeing you there.